All right, so according to news reports, the lawmakers who believed to be loyal to the immediate past River State Governor and Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, in some Wiki, had signed an impeachment notice against the embattled governor early Monday morning. The development resulted in the uh, deployment of security operatives in the assembly complex and other locations in Port Harcourt, and the state capital sparkling tension and uh, fear about a possible eruption of violence in the state. So today we're asking, what is the cause of these succession challenges that we're having in River State? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 1-803-46-63. Dan. Yeah. Me, I don't understand. <laughs> but let's say this is a river state problem, D. Because it, it, it's like it has been signed in some coven mm. that for every governor that... It's true. <laughs> we saw the, the Wahala Buhara with between... Uh, Amici. Well, I don't know about before Amechi. Mm. But be, between Amechi and Wiki. Mm. Now, Wiki... Ah, and this was Wiki's anointed. I mean, not be, not be anointed. Oh, very anointed. Hey, Jehovah, please tell us what is happening. So, <laughs> <laughs> so for me... Um, in as much as is a very hilarious thing for me, but for very obvious reasons, like you know, it's me singing as they paint them with the sweeters now, but it's also sad because I'm like, why always us, and why is it this kind of news, you know, coming out from our state? And I would naturally even feel that okay, if anything was even going to happen, maybe one and a half, two years down the line. Mm. Maybe towards the next election cycle, but this is just five months, mm. you know, and they are going this. As, as a matter of fact, when I saw it on Sunday night, when I saw WhatsApp groups and all of them on Sunday night, ah, impeachment tomorrow, I'm like, this, I, on behalf of them, I'll say this, this is fake, fake news. news because come on, this guy cannot all the way to, in, do you know what it means to the level of impeachment? Mm -hmm. It's like husband and wife to the level of divorce. Great. Because I will not be quite a for grand, quite a for grand till. You get mm -hmm. so lo and behold that night, like um, what's it called? The 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 chamber caught fire. I was still in um, in 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 doubt that no, this is still fake news. So until I was seeing the number plate, I be the name plates on. I was like, this is really the chamber. And then Monday morning, all the drama that was going. I was I was surprised for them. So clearly, from all of the talks going around. Um, as they say where we come from, I said the, the witch cried at night, the baby died in the morning. Mm. Um, obviously, somebody is not happy with somebody's style of governance because even for the governor himself to come out to react. It's also funny because this is one governorship candidate as it were in the history of elections in River State that did not do one interview. Mm -hmm. mm. Even to secondary school press club. Because he was handheld. He, he did not do one interview. As a matter of fact, when they were doing the news coverage at the time, you will watch the major news channels. They will be like, uh, the major news platforms, like, oh, uh, the so-so rally happened, so-so places. This happened, that happened, that happened. Even the governor, governorship candidate spoke. They maybe once or twice take the clip. Then, and also, the governor said this, said that. Major exposure you get. So you just know that there's an election going. So even and that a lot of previous people were like, ah, this man not they talk. This man not they talk. We don't hear in voice. We don't hear in voice. So I posted out of my this that we asked for talk. Now we are hearing shout. Mm. <laughs> you get. Now he's talking. And this is somebody that he was not even amongst the career politicians that you know in the state. Mm. Because approaching 2023, um, we knew that Wiki was going for, I mean, second term was running out. Yeah. So even in PDP, there are people that were saying, oh, it might be this, it might be this, it might be this, it might be this. Yes. He is a very young man in, that was in the civil service, did very well, rose to become accountant general. The only thing probably, I think that's even the highest, unless maybe the next thing, head of service. Mm -hmm. You know, so he rose to the peak of his career at a very beautiful age of 40 something, I think he's 44 or 45 or thereabout. You get. And then he was, you know, handpicked and made governor effortlessly, you get. So it's now a case of, oh, why are you controlling him or allow the man be the man? So there are some parts of, some part of discussion that are saying, ah, he's ungrateful. If not, allow the man to do, uh, obey the people that put you inside. Another part of the conversation is, oh, why are you this? Because when you look at the appointments that have happened, and it's right there, 
70 to 80 percent of the commissioners there are the commissioners from the last government. Mm -hmm. The SSG is the SSG of the last government. Mm -hmm. The chief of staff is worked in the last government. The former chief of chief of staff to the from the last so in the last government is a commissioner, the and, and then one or two mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. You know, this and other f platforms, I'm hearing from other more senior reverse people that are from 16 commissioners, fifth, only one that he brought. Essays is the one that puts him. He, the the so-called uh, uh, leader, as it were, tells him, because you watch, you see PDP governor's meeting. Mm. You see governor's meeting. You don't see our governor. And then today now we are hearing things like, oh, it's because he did not get permission mm. to be going for those things. Okay, so that... So, <laughs> So, 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 Dad, even the puppet, ah, uh, <laughs> you, I'm sorry. you go see him as you see the master. Mm. I was going to ask two things because mm. there are allegations out there that yeah. this new governor, when he came into position of leadership, he picked up some of the projects that Wiki had abandoned that was uh, done, done by, by Amechi. Amechi. Yes. That's one hand. Yes. Second question is: Is it possible to? Because I feel like Wiki is trying to build a legal structure where it, he is out of the leadership of River State as mm. a governor, but he then wants to then put that position where, um, like a Tinubu, where he is able to, control like, con system. Uh, not really control, like determine mm. who is governor next, you know, who is the next mm. person. Be the power who, broker, yeah, more like. Be, be the power, yeah, the yeah. powerhouse mm. of the state. Is that what is playing out? So those okay, so let, me, so let me start with your first question. Yes, I also heard um, in, in the news that this, because... Um, I think last week or two weeks ago, I saw it in the news where he, as Governor Similar is Fubara, said they are going to do some stuff to revive agriculture. Now, under Amici's government, um, very key, road, health, education, agriculture, and tourism. These were very big. And then, of course, he did well with security before all these things could happen. Now, from Wiki's government, lots of those schools were abandoned. Lots of those health, and health centers were abandoned. Um, the tourism, we didn't have Kani Reef. There was Kani Reef from 2008 to 2014. From 2015, there was no Kani Reef till date. There was the Songhai Farms. There was the banana plantation that caught fire mysteriously in 2015, 2016. Lots of, um, they have, um, um, what's it called, uh, the rubber plantation, some other palm oil stuff, rice and all of that. There was nothing that was said about it. So it's just yesterday and today we are hearing that, oh, he wanted to revisit Songhai Farms. And this is the only thing that, I mean, everybody gives it to him, uh, uh, infrastructure, physical infrastructure, the roads and the flyovers and all of that. As a matter of fact, the 195 billion um, ring road that was flagged off is something that was designed as far back as 2009 under Amechi, mm -hmm. the M1 and the M10 roads. So, so there was supposed to be like a private investment. We are going to toll those Amnesty, roads yeah. and all of that. So for some reason... It never came through. We were thinking that, okay, um, Governor Wiki will come and do it. So I was surprised that uh, when they flagged off this thing, so he's even aware that this thing is still in the cupboard. Mm -hmm. So we were wasting our time to do flyovers because I've never, if, all, of all those 10 and 12 flyovers, it's only two or three that, makes sense. that are very really vital. The artillery fly flyover and the Rumokoro flyover. Those are the only two. And then, and then the one at Tank. Those are the only three flyovers that indeed has Makes solved sense. problem. Mm -hmm. If not, every other place is still street express. What this ring road would have done would have opened the city. Everybody cannot just choke themselves within two local governments. Mm -hmm. So Portacot, Portacot that you're hearing is two out of 23 local governments. Look at Lagos that we are in. We can't even tell where is the rural area from right. which, unless maybe it's not to go towards maybe Ibeju mm -hmm. or parts of Ikorudu, but that's like two, three, four extremes within 20 local governments that are in Lagos. Mm -hmm. You understand? So um, that could be because I know very well that I read that he was saying they are going to do some stuff with agriculture. Mm. And possibly that will lead the fight. And I'm wondering that what's the beef about? And that leads to answering the second yeah. question. That first of all, um, what we should learn from this is that if you're a governor in Nigeria, um, if you say one or two people have gotten away with it and they are lucky and they are controlling the system and they are determining who is who, well, that is just one peak out of the pack. Mm. It doesn't work because you are working with human beings. Let's work with the psychology of where we are coming from, who we are. 
those people, we, I mean, if you came out, you fought a system to be somebody, you think somebody will not just fight a system for him to stand as somebody. So bow out and let the man continue. Because, again, even if you want to be, as you put it, a Jagaban system, you're not doing it like a Jagaban yeah. system. Because when, immediately after Jagaban was Fashola. Fashola was flying high, doing fantastic things. You didn't see any obvious teleguiding mm -hmm. yeah. of Fashola. Ambode came. You didn't see any teleguiding. Sawolu is here. You did, yes, you know that. They, 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 I mean, Nigeria is the only country where Godfatherism is now a sin. Mm. If not, the original phenomenon of being a Godfather, guide. if you follow the Catholic or even the Mafia, yes. yeah. is who guides you, who yeah. leads you, who protects you. Yeah. Guy, oh, see, Dubai, yeah. Dubai is a, a, is, a, is a master example yes. of what we would call a Godfatherism. Godfather. Because yeah. there is a master blueprint. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anybody that comes, they just fall in line. Yeah. No, if yeah. So it's a, it's a good thing. If you look even at in the Western world, really. It yeah. Is, if you even look at the... the yeah. No, but even, no, I think even, the, even, in, in, even in every career, you see, go to talk to doctors, talk mm -hmm. to lawyers, talk mm -hmm. to military people, talk to police people. They have somebody high up. Yeah. You know, like, ah, that my godfather be that too. If you're, if you're an ASP and this your godfather is a, a CP, mm. if he's moving to an AIG, he's dragging you along. Yeah. As he's going to AIG, you're yeah. moving to yeah. DSP. It's As he's becoming here, you're sector. moving this I thing. Mean, yeah. So it comes to politics, it's only <laughs> your godfather is the one killing you. What is even really, really, and I would really love for, you know, um, the minister, Wiki, to come out and explain this. Because what exactly is the problem? Because I saw a video where the governor came out and said, what is my crime? What have I done wrong? You understand? Mm -hmm. exactly the people. Mm -hmm. What crime have I committed? Because for me, right, when I heard that it is about some of these projects you have called, they are laudable projects that would expand any economy. Mm -hmm. If you talk about tourism, you talk about agriculture, you talk about education. I mean, these are master things that every government should be thinking of how to expand. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you are fighting over projects that were abandoned, that is even what just, like, I'm weak. It's, I don't even, I don't even know what it is to talk again. <laughs> I think for me, first of all, you need to, I mean, yes, the godfatherism, yes, I mean, by virtue of how he got there, mm. yes, he may have felt that he's owed certain things. But the truth is, again, we come back to the kind of leaders that were breeding in Nigeria, the kind of, the way we understand, our psychology really about leadership. And I think that's the problem. Our, our psychology in this part of the world about leadership is being subservient. Do, do you understand? We don't, we don't understand this... Um, this dynamics between leadership and followership. Because, I mean, really, the, the, the true test of what makes you a fantastic leader... Is your successor. Exactly. It's yeah, actually exactly. supposed to be your successor. Exactly. For you to be able to say, ah, I mentored this person. As a matter of fact, one of the key selling points of our president today, mm -hmm. was it not that exactly. he made men? Exactly. He made, this, he made this one. He made this one. He yeah. made this one. This one, they are all students of his institution. Exactly. So, even if you don't know Tinubu, you, you know, know Shola, that, exactly. you know Fashola, you know Ambody, exactly. you know Lai Mohammed, you, you know Fire yeah. you know people. Mm -hmm. And those people could have made others. Mm -hmm. So from our the father that fathered our fathers is fathering us. Father. <laughs> 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 so but when you're not making it about exactly. it is just me. It is me. It is just me. No. I mean, come no. on. You know, you know what? Let's take a break because I would like for us to come back from that break and discuss this succession plan. Mm. Mm. I keep saying this that the biggest problem we have mm. in this part of the world. Mm. Is you know we do not understand the Succession. concept of leadership. Yeah. We, we don't. We don't. We really don't. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, we don't. Let's take a break. We we'll be right back. All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, is our ladies and gentlemen night out, <laughs> <laughs> and we're discussing the success, uh, succession challenges in River State. Mm -hmm. Now, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to the rate one eight zero three four six six three. Now, our phone line is now open. Please, you turn off the volume of whatever it is that you're going to be calling us from, and the number to call is zero seven zero two five zero zero seven seven four nine. That's the number to call. Remember to turn off whatever device and keep your contributions, you know, quite brief. I mean, so before we went on the break, right, mm. what D said is just like literally, because I've had this conversation with Samadiemi, my um, pastor. I said, see, I don't want you to discuss anything with me. If I'm mm. sitting with you to have an exclusive, I want to discuss succession. 
why do we have a failure of succession in Nigeria? Because it seems like with every... Look at what is happening in Edo State. Yeah. Look at... Like, literally, every single time. Why do I have a deputy that I cannot hand over power to? Mm. Do you understand? Because that is one angle. Mm. First of all, they, don't, they never want to hand over power to their deputy. Mm. So what was a deputy for? A deputy, in its real sense, yeah, is the part that... Take over. If yeah. I am... If for any reason I am I'm incapacitated mm. and I'm not available, this person can perform in the capacity yeah. that I can perform. Yeah. Do it excellently. excellently. Yeah. Yeah. You never see that happen mm. in, in politics. Mm. Then, when you don't have a situation where you have hold and, and peak and all of that, then you start to have problems. Mm. The only reason, right, um, uh, Governor Tinubu then was successful was because, first of all, Fashola was also a smart governor. Mm. Because I remember that after Fashola's first tenure, there was some Rako, mm -hmm. that they wanted to take him out. They now went to advise him, Oga, this man is he's making people. you look good. Mm -hmm. He's making you look good, though. Mm -hmm. If you take him out, you will get that problem. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So they saw it, but we see with Ambody, he was able to do that, right? So Olu, of course, has you know done his second term and all of that. But literally, why do we have a succession problem? Why is it that it is impossible for us to just have a structure where people just say, you know what? I mentored you, come and take over the job and, you know, look away and just continue to do the work. Mm. And now take on the position as a guardian. Or, or, or a, what's it called? A, a guardian, yes. You have a to guardian. look at the motive first. Hmm. The human mind is such that, I mean, the motive of why did I pick you? I mean, there is the politics of it. Yeah, no, that, that, that's, I mean, the first part that's, because, that's the first part. Because um, I remember, in fact, not everyone I remember, let me not <laughs> make it too narrow, but if you see the all the handover that has happened, mm. the handovers that has been with, with kin, that has been with friends, mm. brothers, as it were, the change is very. You look at Kwankwaso and uh, and um, what's his name now, Ganduje. Mm -hmm. In fact, a picture had Kwankwaso and Ganduje have been together oh, from yes. the very beginning. There's a picture of maybe God knows we were in the 80s or when they were on a bike. Kwankwaso was the one riding the bike mm. or sitting in the driver's seat. Uh, Ganduji was. So they were like, this guy has really been his deputy. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Even when Kwankwaso was governor and then he didn't win the second tenure and he became, is he the minister or no, he went to Niger Delta Basin Authority or NDD, something like that. He put, he made sure Ganduji went to one um, foreign mission, an embassy or something like that. And immediately he got back the chance to he, come back he, as a governor. Brahim. He brought him. Lo and behold, what happened immediately? Kwankwaso became governor. Uh, I mean, uh, Ganduji became governor. Kwankwaso couldn't enter Kanu for a while. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. how did he do it? Look at Obi and um, what's his name? Obiano. Obiano, yes. Obiano. This is, when you talk about this, is Obiano that we were seeing it is on TV there. The, 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 the videos are there. Uh, Peter was holding Obiano by the hand and making Obiano's speech on his behalf. On his behalf. Uh, we leave a main agriculture. We leave a main here. We leave a main this thing. Meanwhile, the Willie is standing there. <laughs> And then, lo and behold, Willie gets to power. Willie, so Willie, 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 Willie. <laughs> So, then, first of all, so there is something in Fundamentally that power. power. Yeah. There is something, people, you see, that's why I like the thing Fashola said, me, our loyalty not be tested. Yes, me, our loyalty not be tested. There are, there, you, there, because sometimes, clearly, these things, that's why you can't blame everybody sometimes. Yeah. Because I can tell you that the so-called Godfather, as it were, has told this person, yeah. not by assumption, say, guy, when this you come into it, office, this, this and this, this and this, this and this. We'll say yes, sir. Yes, sir. agreed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So he goes there because again, these people are not mad. They won't just wake up and make a demand that they didn't ask for you. So you put in sign. Yes. Secret. No, not even sign. That you find, you say, yes, master. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I agree. Dad. I agree, sir. Yeah. You understand? There are certain things we will see on TV now. Mm -hmm. I agree. Then you go there. Doing then by the time you access it, there is something about that. Do you know what it means? You're driving, the whole traffic is stopping for you. Mm. We don't, the don't understand that level. You power power is is take, take <laughs> absolute power in absolute. absolute. You know what it means? You're entering a hall. Mm. How many weddings have you gone through? You just enter, go and find your seat. Mm. This one, you're entering a hall. MCP is my ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, the governor. Everybody stand up. Mm -hmm. They play national anthem for you. Mm -hmm. Even though the girl cannot sing it, <laughs> but they, play, they sing it for you, however. Do you understand the power and influence yeah. that comes with that? Mm -hmm. Do you know the, the, what it means? People that you've looked up to, you've read about the owner of Ife, they are coming to visit yeah. you. Mm -hmm. So before you know, it's a human thing that tells you, Oga, 
Ah. You go ah, right. rest. And then if you now have somebody that is now overbearing, hmm. that is now not this thing, that now begins to tell you, don't go for this meeting, go for this meeting. Who do you want to see? Well, show me all the files. This one. Anybody that wants something from you, the governor can, cannot see you. They'll go and meet your so-called godfather first. Mm -hmm. Godfather is okay. Yeah. Go and meet him. You know, so it's, it's, it's something that we should learn as a people. Mm. So first of all, as leaders yeah. and as followers, mm. the leaders themselves, I mean, you have been privileged to be governor. Every state has over 10 million people. From 1999 or even from 1960 till now, no state has had up to 50 governors in mm. Nigeria. Mm. So you are among the very few that have been number one citizens of this. Your picture is there for life. Mm. Children will call your name in current affairs or social studies. So why don't you leave it at there? If it's about collection of resources, you don't collect. Leave them. Let another person collect. Mm. Because I don't think, let's just be put, it, put the cards on the table. The person you leave there, if you are very true and you tell him, take care of these people. Mm. See this one. Keep them for me. Now my pension line be this. Mm. Everybody will be happy, but when you're not like, oh, mm -hmm. go and bath by five o'clock. Why are you bathing? Come back. This is, I mean, it's just like even having a controlling partner. Even your that child. That you say hi to her. Why are you getting uh -huh. that no, guy? Your partner says it's under uh -huh. Even the picking will come up for your belly. Uh -uh. You can't do that you to your child. That is quite a state far from here. <laughs> Didn't you see father and son? <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So... We must, so as leaders, we must understand that if we find ourselves there, if it's time to bow out, let us hopefully um, successfully replicate ourselves yeah. in the people and then have some level of security of our own that if we keep them there, we should not be afraid that they will wash our names. Why are you afraid that they will wash your name? If you yeah, know that you like did it. something yeah. lasting, if you know itself. you did something last, that's why yeah. in River State till today, even children born, they will still be telling you about Alfred Dette Spiff, who was governor in 1966. When was River State created? 65, I mean 66. Mm -hmm. He was the first governor at 24 years old. Most of the things we still have in that state, the Secretariat, the um, Mbiama Bridge, the Civic Center, they were all built by Alfred Dette Spiff. Alfred Dette Spiff is 70 something years. He should be, this is 2023. July, he turned 80 this year. Wow. But he's still celebrated. Colonel Musa Show, old military administrator, still celebrated. He's from 99. Everything just started doing anyhow. So if as a leader, you are sure that you are doing something well, and you keep a lasting legacy, I mean for Wiki, for goodness sake, you move on a bar road as you're jumping on those flyovers, you know that this is Wiki. Hmm. What are you now? So if you go and revisit Amici Project, Let's even say that's the issue. Mm. So people will now say, oh, we love this farm. We're not you driving on top, uh, on top of the flyover again. We'll, we'll, we'll okay. dive. <laughs> Fly? It doesn't change. Anything. So it's yes, a problem. This is, this is such a very important plan because it goes beyond Nigerian politics. Mm. Yeah. It even goes into the workplace. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Been, we no, sorry, call. Yeah, I think we have a call. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, thank you for calling. Yeah, I'm Jim Rebelle. Okay, hi. Wicked is using politics for business. Hmm. Because this, this project that he wants to bang us to end has been commissioned by the government and we buy the money has been paid to him. So if you know you can't finish a project, then you leave it when you finish, then you submit the money to the government. We can have the person the money given to him before. So he wants to bother to finish the project which he was not able to finish before. And Mubaka has his own aim in the government. So if, if we can, because we can, we can put Mubaka on the seat. So all his members, all his followers that followed him, that they all did the money before. So they are trying to, because they put Wiki in the field. So they are trying to use Wiki as their own business. As Legend said, they, 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 want, they want to use it to escape their own thing. That is it. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, so I'm that just, is just, just seeing an update. So, yeah. so Wiki has spoken actually. Okay. And he said it's a party crisis. Okay. It's a family affair. Okay. We should, let, we should let them be. Yeah, we should let them be. And I even saw from uh, Business Day 
that um, they because I, I think President Tinubu summoned the, mm. them and that they hugged and they embraced. And they settled. So maybe this guy is correct. That, I have a uh, question. That maybe they give him the balance. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. So who takes responsibility for the um, House of Assembly that was bound? They put it in the budget. So that's, see? No, yeah. and, uh, I mean, uh, we, we, uh, we were in a crisis situation. And then this kind of... But, but, but I, can, I can tell you one thing. It's definitely not the end of the story. Because oh, even if there's a settlement, we know... They didn't learn left hand for old age. Mm -hmm. And we know the character traits yeah. mm -hmm. of the dramatist person involved mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And we know these, some of them have this attribute of their friend tomorrow. Yeah, and, then they, and then they leak all your secrets yeah. tomorrow, the next tomorrow. You know, So let's even say there's a settlement. Because you ask yourself, what level, because what everybody's even asking is, okay, let's even say, oh, the boy, no loyal or this or that. Do you know what it means to lead to the point to say, let's impeach him? Hmm. You call all the 24 members of our assembly, make a move to impeach what him. Do you, have you know, and then somebody, the guy on the other hand is reacting. Because now, well, I hope there is peace because the thing is already graduating. Yeah. This afternoon, I was getting videos. In fact, I was on a video call with somebody for over 30 minutes. He was moving around OGRA. OGRA is supposed to be like our only Koi. Old money, quiet you, money. Was it the place where they were? No, that, that, no, that, that was even later. Mm. So there were pockets of protests yeah. round. People were camping from government at government house gate from yesterday to today, singing songs. Go Abuja, we can stay for Abuja, you know. And and they're like, oh, if you want to come and kill Sim, you will come and kill all of us mm. first. And then the the video I now saw recently. Some people going to the official residence of the speaker, that's Martin Samuel, to bring down his gate, to bring down his gate to attack him. My God, let's take another you know. caller. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, youngest old man. You long time. <laughs> uh, I do. Go I greet my man here. I greet you, Alpha. I do, I do, I do, I do. I know you are for Lagos talk. What did happen now? Yeah, we they, we they move, we they move. <laughs> okay, that's nice, that's nice. I'm ready to see you for me. No, it's okay. Is, it, uh, is it this reverse issue, bro? Uh? Mm -hmm. I just like the way they are playing out their card. At least somebody is telling somebody I'm not, made, I'm not, I'm not more a small boy again. Mm. I can do without you. So let me just keep on playing it out. Who will be watching the film season to season? Mm -hmm. But one thing I know is that one day all this scam will come to an end, mm -hmm. and there will be no room for scams. I'll be because no. this uh, building and rebuilding is so inadequate. Mm -hmm. And for me, I've seen all the disappointments that goes to those that think they can plan somebody and the person will be lawyer. Mm -hmm. So we all understand what's going on, and. Uh, let them just enjoy it again. We will be watching from this side. Anyone who can do, go watch. Okay. The only thing I want to talk about Nigeria is that Nigeria comes with a different topic tomorrow. Okay. I don't even know what to come out. Anything that comes in tomorrow, we'll be very happy. I mean, For me, I just want to be happy and enjoy the, what the I'm movie. seeing today. Okay. So I bet when I keep on dressing fine, Sister Uwa, you're looking so good. Thank My you. man there, keep on uh, uh, giving us the best you can. No, Thank I'm you. Not the largest country, now cruise with it. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, speaking about sitting down to watch, mm. uh, Biko, I mean, how I met you there right now? Ah. <laughs> You know, I put I put up his picture instead of my Insta story, and I put that song. My life be like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's preparing for his call to bar next yes, week. in two weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, he's just softening quietly because the truth of the matter is, this is this is karma. This is history repeating itself again. Um, if you see my Insta story, you'll just be seeing all the updates there. I said in 2013, five tried to impeach over 27. In 2023, 8 is trying to impeach. Because 8 now have a new, a new speaker and all of that. And there are certain things that you do in a relationship that the glass will not break, but that has cracked. Mm. And one more, everything can split. Because two things will happen now. Because this, there are, I was so heartbroken. So when I saw that Edison is here, Edison is very close to some other people. Let me not mention their own names since they are not main actors. I was not, when I heard that, and I thought that, oh, these ones are with Edison. And then I now saw that they were on the others, I like, ah, ah, Edison, main men. When now all of them, they day club together. Now, see what in politics don't mm. do. So let's say they settle. 
How they going to remain look at the it? Same. It can never remain the mm. same. And then, do you know what will happen at the end of the day? It is rivers people that are suffering. Yes. Mm. Because 2013, why, if you remember, 2013, 2014, if you remember very well, Port Harcourt Airport was rated the worst airport in the world. Mm. Meanwhile, at that time, there was a massive renovation of all the airports in Nigeria. Mm. But because there was a disagreement with the then governor, they ignored the airport. And who suffered from it? Rivers people. people. People were using the airport, entering on that canopy. Yes. And foreign airlines were landing on that, in, on that, uh, mm. on that airport. Right? Now, if what we are hearing that, okay, oh, he wanted to revisit those abandoned projects and this and that and this. And so let's assume that two things that will come out from this settlement. Let him be. Let mm. him do his thing. Fine. But what if one of the provisions of this settlement is bone those, ignore those it projects? It cannot work. So the people who are supposed to benefit from those things are now still kept in the, in, in, in the dark for nothing. So I think what, to, what should happen is when people are fighting, remember that you are not there because you, you are there. It's not, it's not about you. Plan. It's about the people. Let's yeah. quickly take comments, I think. Okay, yeah. so this one is um, Good Evening Lady. Succession challenges the, is the bane of poor leadership in Nigeria since independence. The true mark of a great leader is the quality of succession and legacies that stand the test of time. Unfortunately, in Nigeria, politics now is a lifelong career for these poli politicians. Ah, so, the no truth problem. is, most, if not all of them, can't survive outside free government money. Hence, the constant quest to find ways to continue having access to our commonwealth long after they have left power. It's a big shame. This is from Nii Omole yeah. in Lagos. Okay, so another one says, um, Good evening, ladies. On quiet firing, um, I've experienced a few... No, quiet firing is... Yeah, uh, that was, I think, yesterday. Yeah, that was, that was yesterday. Go ahead. Yeah, the yeah. first one. Your guest is speaking the ideal in a sane country. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was your quiet fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I mean, literally, right? Thank you so much, Dan. Hmm. Me, I just did. I like that song. My life be like. Mm. <laughs> 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 I just people just sit down like you do. <laughs> what is it? What is being poisoned? It's not that poison, no. Uh, what else do they do? Raw water. Raw water. Raw water. Red Bull. Because we saw this coming, but yeah. it's just that even for even for those who like it will happen, it came too early. So we were like, ah, ah just knock. Five more. Now calm down. And, and it don't crack because it will, it will happen again. Mm. We do there are certain things. We you know the the state has a plane. We see the usage of the plane. I mean, in, in the history of FCT ministers, we're seeing a president of a president of FCT. You see flag on the KFCT 001. Okay, no problem. Enjoy the paraphernalia. That, 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 that's fine. But we are reverse people we know. And there are certain things that look at the number of youths on the road mm -hmm. on a walking Monday morning. Mm -hmm. So with the verse, with the verse, they call, come out. No meaningful employment. Mm. If there were places that these young men and women were working, they won't mm. who will have time to yeah. come out for, 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 for all these things? Absolutely. You know, so there are a lot of stuff we need to do in that state. We keep saying every day state has potential, potential. When will this potential move? Mm. And then we see that there's a certain movement and this is happening. And so I, I just hope that this whole episode, I don't know how it will move, but I'm sure one way or the other, it will rattle the box and lead to the proper development of River State and bring it to where it ought to be. Absolutely. Amen to on that. On that note, amen to that. <laughs> you see that we had the best person. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. Thank you so much, Dan. And it was at short notice. You always come through for us. Thank you so much. We do not Amazing take for God. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go, Aisha, thank you, ladies. Before we go, Aisha, you follow us across all our social media handles at Waysho Africa Internet. Interact with us further, drop your comments, and most importantly, Follow our engagement on social media, like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. If you missed our quote from Chief Edwin Clark, it says, um, we are not in a barbaric state where people can do whatever they like. We are in a democracy. And the tenets of uh, constitutional democracy must be upheld by all. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. Hopefully we're not discussing river state. <laughs> 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 another great conversation to your screen. Ciao. Hmm.